All right, class, today we are going to take um, notes on something called sequences and arithmetic sequences. Um, some fill-in-the-blank notes real quick. A sequence is a pattern of numbers. So here is a sequence. It's just a pattern of numbers, and there is a pattern. A um, couple things to understand is we're going to use the letter N instead of X. And then we're going to use a sub n instead of y. So y is going to be a sub n and x is going to be n. An ar arithmetic sequence, a sequence of terms that have a common difference between them. Let's just get these notes filled in and then we'll figure out what they mean in a sec. The explicit formula is a sub n equals d sub n plus a sub zero. Again, we'll talk about what those letters mean here in a sec. Where D is the common difference. And here's probably the most important thing you have you need to remember about that. If you ever can't tell what the difference is, if you will just do the second term minus the first term. So the second term minus the first. So in this example right here, if you can't look at it and tell that you're adding by 5, then just do 10, which is the second term, minus 5, which is the first term. 10 minus 5 is 5, and it's positive 5, so that's telling me I'm adding every time. And then a sub 0 is the 0 term. And if you need to find out what your a sub 0 is, you're going to do the first term minus whatever your D is. So looking at this, this five right here is actually my first term, right? Well, we just decided that my D was five. So if I need to figure out what my zero term is or my term in front of this term, I would do my first term, which is five, minus five, which is my D. Five minus five is zero, so my zero term would be zero in this case. It's not always going to be zero. It just happens to be zero on this one. All right? So for each arithmetic sequence, find the common difference in the next three terms. So we're trying to figure out what we're adding or subtracting by. Well, remember, if you can't look at it and tell, you can always do 12 minus 6, and that's going to give you 6. So then what are the next three terms? So the next three terms after 24 would be 24 plus 6, which would be 30. I'm going to do 30 plus 6, which is 36. I'm going to do 36 plus 6, and that's going to be 42. All right, so let's do the next one. What am I adding to 3 to give me 8? Well, if you can't figure that out, use your formula. 8 minus 3 is 5. That will always work. So now let's find the next three terms. So I need to add 5 to 18. That's 23. 23 plus 5 is... 28, 28 plus 5 is 33, so there's the next three terms, okay? On this section right here, we're going to um, find a sub 0, which is the number before the first one listed, the D, and then we're going to state the explicit formula, okay? So, first of all, I like finding the difference first, so let's find the difference. Well, let's, this one has negatives in it, so if I were you... I would use this formula. It tells me to take the second term, which is negative 4, minus the first term, which is negative 10. So look how that looks right there. If you want to punch it in your calculator like that, you can. So it's going to be negative 4 minus negative 10, and that's going to give you 6. So even though it doesn't look like it would be a positive 6, it is. So we know my difference is six. I'm adding six all the way through here. So now to find the a sub zero, I'm gonna do, remember our formula takes first term, which is negative 10, minus the difference, which is six. So now punch that in your calculator, and you're gonna get negative 10 minus six. This is negative 16. So that's the zero term is the one before the first term we see. So a sub 1 is negative 10, a sub 0 is 
negative 16. So now we're gonna write the explicit formula. Remember, this is it right here. So I need my a sub n, it's always gonna be a sub n equals d, what's my difference? It is six sub n plus, I'm sorry, it's not sub n, it's six times n, sorry, plus whatever my a sub zero is, which was negative 16. So remember a sub n was really y, n is really x, so really you don't have to write this, but now it kind of looks like a linear equation, right? But this is the correct answer, and that's an n right there, all right? So let's find the difference on this. Let's do the first one minus the second term, so that's 31 minus 36. Punch that into your calculator, you'll get negative 5. So now I'm subtracting 5, right? Well, um, if I'm subtracting 5 going this way, well, then I need to add 5 going this way. So, see, 36 minus 5 gives you 31. 31 plus minus 5 gets you 26, so I would add 5 to come back this way. So, to find that one, I'm going to do the opposite of that. I'm going to do 36 plus 5. So that would be 41. So now let's write our explicit formula. It's a sub n equals whatever my difference is times n, and then whatever my a sub zero is, 41. Let's go to number five. Remember my a sub zero right here, sorry, I could have gotten it by doing 36 minus negative five, it gave me 41. So my difference here, I'm gonna do negative three minus four, that's gonna give me negative seven. And then to find my a sub zero, I'm gonna do four minus negative seven. If you'll punch that into your calculator, it comes out to be positive 11. So now it's gonna, Write my formula, a sub n equals negative seven n plus 11. All right, next we're gonna write the explicit formula for the sequence and then find the 10th term. So that's something new. And also, it doesn't tell us to find the a sub zero or the d, but in order to write this, we have to find the a sub zero and the d. So, let's talk about the difference first. Remember, I'm gonna take the second term minus the first term. That's gonna give me three. And then my a sub zero, I'm gonna take the first term minus my difference, and that gives me four. So now I know I'm gonna have a sub n equals, I need my difference, which is three n plus four. So now we're trying to find the 10th term. Well, look, didn't 10 take the, diff the place of that n right there? Well, if it takes the place of that n right there, then it's gonna take the place of that n right there. And a sub 10, all that tells me is I'm looking for the 10th term. So I'm gonna do a sub 10. There's no math involved on this side. I'm gonna do three parentheses 10 plus four. So that's three times 10 is 30, and 30 plus four is 34. So one, two, three, that's the fourth term. We just figured out the 10th term by using our formula. All right, so write the explicit formula for the sequence, then find the 51st term. If you'll notice, it gives me my a sub one, but I need my a sub zero, but it gives me my difference. And remember my difference is always gonna be equal to, I'm sorry, my a sub zero, is always gonna be equal to my first term minus my difference. So I'm gonna do seven minus negative 4.7. That's a little tricky, so let's punch it in our calculator. Seven minus negative 4.7. It's gonna give me 11.7, right? So now we can write our formula. It's a sub n equals negative 4.7 n plus 11.7, so now let's plug 51 into n, so that's gonna be a sub n equals negative 4.7, 51 
That's 11.7. A lot of decimals in this one, so I'm using my calculator. So it's negative 4.7 parentheses, 51 parentheses, plus 11.7. So it's going to be negative 228. Okay. So that's the end of our first part of notes for this, um, for your first day you'll come back to me. Well, you'll take a quiz your first day and then your next day will be, we'll work on this. But I'm gonna do another video for this sheet right here.